What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are back on Subnautica. So in yesterday's video we crash landed on the planet and now we are in the process of exploring it. So today we're going to literally be going around scanning to see if we can get some more things for our fabricator. Some more personal items. Yesterday we managed to get the high capacity O2 tank fins and now we need a rebreather so we're going to have to get a wiring kit which consists of two times silver ore, which actually I think we might have one already in the storage container maybe somewhere no okay must have used it but anyway thank you for my support on yesterday's video it yeah it went really well I think as my first Subnautica video of the series um, if you do like it give it a thumbs up comment down below what you liked about it and as usual subscribe and also, I just realised we've got a radio message, so let's give it a listen and see what is actually on here, because it's been a while since I've played one of these, so let's go. Receiving pre-recorded distress call, laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Okay. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, so we've just found our first survivor crash pod. We should probably go check that out. First of all, I reckon we should try and make the sea glider. So that means going out... Let's put some of this stuff away that I've got at the moment, don't worry. Uh, going out and actually getting the parts to scan so I can build it. Alright, let's take these. These. Um, put one of these away. Silicon rubber gold. All of this can go. Soon we need to start some base building because I'm getting quite filled up with bits and bobs. I'm taking a lot of water in place of that. Right. We need to get some water down us. And some food actually whilst we're here. And we actually need to go out and get some more food. That's something we need to do. So let's get this. Oh no, let's just switch container and consume. Right. Vital signs stabilizing. So let's go out and start trying to find these crash sites. So the crash sites will look basically like this. And we need to be finding these things. So this seems to be a sea glide fragment. This is what we need to go find the crash site of the life pod. That's it. That. So let's go see what else is down and around here. It's bound to be some stuff around this crash site. I don't know if we looked at it yesterday. See, so look, you can actually scan fish with this scanner. As such. You just chase them around a little bit, and then you can get them on the PDA. Uh, that's a rabbit ray, so it's a type of fish. So let's see if we can find some more crash sites. There's a box down there. We should always go see what that's all about. This is the grassy plateau area. This is a completely different sort of... Um, oh, this is the laser car. Different biome, sorry. Yeah, let's get this. Oh, it's very small, so it's difficult to actually scan it. Okay, that's our second dangerous creature. That's a sand shark. They will attack you. Very admittedly, I've been attacked by one of them many times. So we best go up around here and search for any crash sites. Um, we're not going to get any metal salvage, we don't really need it. But we do need to get some copper ore and some silver ore. Hmm. One of these, let's get these. Floaters. <laughs> and let's get some fish whilst we're out here as well. Let's see if we can scan this big fella. Or if he's probably going to gas pop me actually. 30 seconds. So uh, let's get out to the surface quickly. Knew he would gas pop though. We get up here and then we can go back down. So we didn't even go that far away from our pod, so it's quite slow at the moment because I haven't got more the newest flippers or have I? I've got I got fins. Soon I'll get some better ones. See here's another bit of the crash site. So hopefully there'll be something here that we can use. Basically, this has all come off of this ship, but off camera, I didn't, I accidentally didn't get it. Basically, the uh, radiation has gone up on this, um, so I need to be getting some lead very soon to make a lead uh, 
suit, so I don't get radiation poisoning. Otherwise, there's going to be places that I won't be able to go. So all around here, counter. That's a furniture piece when we come to base building. Way. Oh, I've brought that up, don't know what that is. Uh, I'm to press 3. Right. Where did he go? Oh, knife usually wards them off. Oh, they're very dangerous, these things, though. Yes, go away. Rude. I'm trying to scan here and you're just coming along and munching my face off. Alright, what's in here? Alright, this is the second sea glide. I should have all the sea glide now. Maybe this is the second one. No, there we go, Sea Glide. Right, so I'm going to go back to the base. And, oh, actually, no, that's another piece of the beacon. We need that. There we go, we've got the beacon as well, so that means we can always find... Right, there's beacon and Sea Glide fragment. So we can always find our way back home now. So we'll be able to put a beacon down. Another Sea Glide fragment. Ah, yes, we do need this. Cut Kelt with a knife. We mm, actually no, we don't need this. So I'll meet you when we're back on our life pod. All right, now we're back up in here. We can see what it takes to actually build it. So it'll be in deployables. So we need copper wire, lubricant, titanium, and a battery. So we got the titanium. We sh might have the copper. Copper wire is literally two pieces of copper. No, we're gonna need that. Um, We'll be able to make the mushroom. The batteries are made with uh, copper and. So let, uh, yeah, actually, no, we do need that. So let's bring up this and this. That should make a battery. Maybe not. What is it? A. Ah, uh, it's two times mushrooms. Alright, I was close. Let's go back on the fabricator, make our battery. There we go. So we've got the battery. Now we need copper wire and that's made by initially two pieces of copper ore. Okay, so let's put the battery back in here. Yeah, right there. Um, we need to heal up, so yeah. Right, we need lubricant, which is made out of them little reeds. So let's go get the reeds from over here. I'm pretty sure I remember them being over here. Whoa. No, don't gas me, don't gas me. These gas pods are really, really just, yeah, they're annoying. Put it that way. So the vine, creep vine forest should be just over here. That way we can get our lubricant to make this. We also need to get some copper ore, so I need to go and grab some more shale breaks. This is a little creature thing. So eventually I'll be able to get an alien containment unit. Eventually. It'll be a while, yes. Yeah. So, oh, please be a copper in there. Titanium, no, I'm not going to take it. I need copper, not titanium. See, this stuff here, I forgot what it's actually called. Please don't hurt me. You should get warded off by that knife attack. What are you doing? Go away. Alright, let's go over here. Creep vine, it's literally. Oh, creep vine seed clusters, that's the one. It makes the blue bottled lubricant. A blue? Yellow. <laughs> Why did I say blue? I'm colorblind. Alright, we should actually probably grab some silver whilst we're here. Uh, lead. Lead will help actually because we need to get the radiation suit and all that. So. In these biomes, you will find gold, silver, and lead, as well as the normal ores that you get. They're a little bit, un a little bit inhabited with them stalkers, which are the little sharks that you just saw. So if I just grab you. Yeah, copper, and I need one more piece now. 30 seconds. Oh, hello, speaking of. I told you they're inhabited by these little. Ah, they're gits, honestly. Leave me alone, stop trying to bite my toes off. I'm trying to bite my toes off. They're not for you, they're for me to swim around with, and if you're biting them off, then I can't swim. <laughs> so, I need to go down and actually find. Sorts of copper. Man, trying to find copper in this game is ridiculous. You have a like a one in two chance of getting either titanium or copper, which kind of sucks. I wish you could have separate ores for each. 
And then you can actually cut this kelp like this to get a great fine sample. If you could stop biting me, that'd be nice. Thank you. Oh, these are another one of these, so maybe silver. Okay. That means we've got two silver ore, right? No one silver ore, one head. Leave me alone. I'm not here to be eaten. Lead. Alright, let's get back up now. Actually, let's go down here and see if we can get the rest of the copper. There's a piece that we can break. Two pieces, actually. There we go, copper. So we've got the copper. I don't remember anything else that we needed, actually. So, wow, that's it's quite far away. So I'll see you when we're back at the life pot. Right, now we're back up in here. We can see what else we need. So we can get the copper wire in now, which is good. And what else did you need in the deployable part of things? We need lubricant and a battery. We have all of that now. So if we go on basic materials, we can now get the lubricant, which comes in the form of this snazzy little bottle right here. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Right. We can now put the battery up here. A piece of titanium. Put that down there. Uh, we can also put the lead in here. See, stuff will actually rot over time, so I can't consume that. I'm going to have to chuck it out. Switch container, I can't, so I may as well make that into lubricant. We can now make the sea glide. Actually, no. Oh, no. I need the lubricant. My bad. So, lubricant, copper wire, battery, titanium. That was it. Alright. Now we can make it. <laughs> Sweet. So, our first technical vehicle of the game. This beast. Right, we can get that the in our inventory. will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Mm. So now we've got this, I reckon we should make our little journey over to where the... that pod over there is, the life pod 3. So our first survivor sort of thing on the storyline. So we should definitely put you in, put you in, take you, take you, consume you, consume you. Take you, open up you, thank you very much, take that, um, switch it, and throw that out when we're outside, so, let's get that out, oh, it's night time, okay, so let's drop that, we don't need that, lovely, so this thing is really, really fast, it helps a lot of getting around as well, it takes a lot less time to move places to places, because this, obviously this map's quite big, so you can have it with a map. Uh, I can't remember how to get rid of the map, actually. Things like that, yeah. I say get rid of the map, get a torch on. There's lots of different settings. So this is just with the torch, this is how I prefer it personally. It's easier to see things at night. So let's make our way over to the pod very slowly. Luckily, none of the creatures at the moment can really harm us other than the stalkers and the sand sharks and the crash fish are in the cave, where we've got the caves off from. They're the only things that can really harm us, as well as actually dying. Um... The gas pods, they can hurt us. As long as we don't go near them, they won't, though. So let's go oh, the creep vine forests are quite scary at night. Especially as it gets very misty in here. Ah, oh, so here we are. The first crashed pod. Damn. Oh, what was that? It swam into me. Oh, I dropped the water. Right, okay. Oh, there's another radio distress call. So we should probably... PDA. And, uh, new PDA data. Nice little data box. Wow. Compass. Sweet. We can get that soon. New blueprint acquired. Right, that's the. Yeah, we don't need that. Ah, we do need this. The mobile vehicle bay fragment. We need this to make the sea moth, which is a type of submarine. But let's get back to the ship. Uh, no, not the ship. We haven't got one yet. And get our. Compass, hopefully. Then we can go and get the radio call as well. Let's see that thing flashing on the screen. So I'll see you in a minute. So now we're back up here. We can see what this next radio message is. So let's give it a play and see what it is. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? 
They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Hmm. Okay, so where are they? Are they all the way over there? I guess we could probably get them, actually, thinking about it. So, what did I want to build? The compass. That would be nice. Uh, personal equipment. Yeah, compass, copper wiring, and a wiring kit. Have we got enough for that? Pathfinder tool. Deploys holographic pathfinder disc. Used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. Hmm. I've never built that before. Might have to give that a go this time. So we can always... We've got silver. We need another piece. Uh, we haven't got copper. So actually I think I'll leave the... Yeah, I'll leave the compass for now. And I reckon we should actually go and get the... Yeah, let's go get that other light bulb. So I keep on pressing F3, sorry, it's really annoying me, so it'll probably be annoying you. Right, it's over here. Let's go. So now we've searched there. That basically the PDAs are this is telling a story. We're basically finding life pods of other survivors that have sort of tried to get out of the ship, but they have clearly failed. And on this planet before, there was another crash, but we'll, oh, I'm not gonna say any more to that. Uh, and you'll find that out sooner or later. So I will see you when we are here. We found the pod and we also found our first leviathan creature. So we'll come back to the pod in a minute and have a look at this beast. He's massive. Wow. Oh, oh there's another one over there. Let's give him a scan, I think. Reef bags, that's what they're called. Wow. These things are massive. 30 seconds. Let's get our oxygen quickly and then we'll come down and search that life pod. Wow, look at the top of it. Uh oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. Within two hours, you have a joke. Um, that's not good. So let's search this life pod. I think we're going to have to end the video before this thing explodes. So I need to do a little bit of reading up because I've forgotten what happens after it explodes. So let's get this PDA. Whoa. Quick. Um, Integrating new PDA data. I know there is something I just spotted on the way in though. This is the first part to our little submarine, the Sea Moth. So I'm pretty sure I need to get three of these and then I'll be able to get that. And there's another one. Second piece. Whoa, that's a big bit of the crash site. Alright, that's three. So we'll have to get the next one. Maybe we can get it in this video. Maybe if I can just find one more piece. We to get it. It should be over here. Let's go and see if we can find it over here. Might be over here. Hopefully it will be. That's something. Um, I forgot what this is. Time capsule. Oh, I've, ne I've never found one of these before. These are very rare. Blueprint for a time capsule. I've never found one of them before. In the previous game, I struggled to find one. Um, and I never actually found it. That's sweet. Basically, when you leave the game, you leave on a little rocket. And then you can leave the time capsule here. Alright, these are all things that we actually need. So that's the scanner room, sweet, so we've got our first Integrating place that we can build with our... Well, we'll leave Bates build into another video. Here, we'll go back down quick. Just need to get our oxygen. We need to find one more piece of seamoth as well. There's a piece. Found it. Pretty sure there's a piece. Yeah, there we go. We've got the seam off unlocked in this game as well. Wow. I unlocked that very quickly. That new blueprint sized. So we'll probably search this in the next video as well. But I think that's going to wrap up today's video. As... Ah, oh, I keep pressing F3. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, that, that pres <sighs> wraps up our video for today. Thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the content. Comment down below if you liked it also. Um, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. It's been the Sandbox Survivor, and I will see you in my next Subnautica video. They are very big, so I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.